Oh, hey, look, a thing that some people hate and others not so much. It's a loot crate. Uh, I've been buying these things. I've been subscribed for like five or six years. And now that I'm doing unboxing stuff, I'm also open one of these up. I know this camera angle is terrible for this. There's the box. Merry Christmas. But we're just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test this out for the channel. Maybe it'll go well, maybe it won't. I figured if I'm buying these every month anyways, might as well try to get some content out of it, you know what I mean? Alright, so like with every loot crate, they come with one of these little collectible pins. We, we, we actually hold on to these, we have quite a few of them. I don't usually take them out of the thing, not because I like to have them sealed, but because I don't really have much of a use for them, but I might as well for this. If it will focus... there we go. We literally have a, a box full of these things. I like that they've always sent these, and they, they look a lot better than they used to, you know three, four years ago. So I'll have in the title what month this loot crate is for to loot gaming, um, because I don't know. Shipping has been terrible from them lately just because of uh, this COVID stuff. So I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be for the last month. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll have it in the title, but apparently it came with a bonus item, which I find weird because there isn't really much in the box. But this is actually apparently from the Fallout crate. It's Adam Katz. Uh, I, I'm guessing it's meant like their fuzzy dye to hang from your car. Because aside from that, I don't really see how else it would fit Fallout. Yeah, they're literally tied together. And I'm guessing that replaces the one. Yeah, alright. Uh, once again, I don't really have much of a use for these. Like, they're like... That's, that's the thing with Loot Crate. Most of the things are like... Collector's things you could like hang on a shelf or whatever. But rarely do you get things that might have like... Some kind of use or something that's fun. I, I've been going back and forth on Loot Crate over the years, like, sometimes they send a really nice crate with really cool things, sometimes they don't. This one so far might end up being a, a not-so-good one, we'll find out. Alright, next is the shirt, and it's just... it's just Doom Guy. Loot Crate likes to send a lot of these shirts that look like they're super faded, even though it's like, it's just how they're printed. And it's very, very simple, it just says Doom Eternal there on the side. I am, a I am an extra large, so... If you're wondering how, why it's so hard for me to get this on frame, I am a big boy. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not anything super fancy, but I don't mind it. I haven't played the new Doom yet. I really need to. It looks really cool. I sucked really bad at the first one, though, because I'm not a hardcore Game Boy. Okay, I have no clue what this is. It is very soft, whatever it is. Like, it's very soft fabric, or it could just be because of the air that's in this little package. Um... Is this like a flag or something? Like what? Oh, okay, it's a... I don't understand. So there's like part of it. Is this just like a bandana, I'm guessing? That's my guess, so it's Mortal Kombat right there. Then we have the bottom of Scorpion's... Okay, I took a minute to realize exactly what that was. That is the bottom of Scorpion's mask. So yeah, this is just like a face mask. I don't really recommend this for... <laughs> For, you know, being, you know, safe with the COVID stuff. Man, I can't talk. I, I don't think this is really certified. I mean, I suppose it would work. People are using all kinds of things, but I gotta say, at least Loot Crate's getting topical. This this might help people who don't have masks at all. It's better than nothing, I suppose. But I'll stick with the medical masks that we're being forced to wear at the arcade. Looks like there are only two things left, and one of them is actually something that I've been loving to do for the channel. These little mini vinyl figures. I actually have a video with these little mini vinyl figures coming up soon. So assuming this isn't like pre-picked for a loot crate, we don't really know what we could get. Um, it'll get to one out of 40. Again, I don't want Street Fighter characters that well. I'm not the biggest fan. Of course, we have a mystery character. All right, let's just go ahead and see what we actually what we actually get. Also, I love that Kid Robot like does a Kid Robot X Street Fighter. It's like a Tekken Cross Street Fighter. All right. Let's see, something rare, pretty please. And I do not know his name. Should I? I feel like I should know my Street Fighter characters a, a bit better than this. Looking for friends. He doesn't look like he's looking for friends. So what, where is he on the box? Yeah, he's a two out of 20, so he's one of the common guys. I guess, man, almost everybody's two out of 20, so if we have like a three out of 80, yeah, okay, cool. Well, I, I don't know who he is. I, I need I need to do some Googling now. And the last thing from the Loot Crate appears to be 
a book. I'm thinking it's just like an empty page journal. We'll find out. If it is, then who cares? Loot Crate has done so many of these like empty, you know, like journal books in the past that like I'm not going to use for anything. And yes, that's exactly what it is. It just it just has a fancy front cover. That's this page is the only part of this that is unique. Like yeah, it has the Bethesda logo and Loot Gaming on the back, so I guess this is actually made by Bethesda. But why? Like, maybe if you're in school and you're a giant fan of Doom, this is really cool, but... I don't know, for something random from a Loot Crate, it's kind of... whatever. Why do I pay for this? So yeah, usually when it comes to Loot Crate, I'll either think, like, really cool things or really eh things. This is definitely a really eh, because, like, this is just a journal I'm not going to use more than likely. Like, maybe I'll have a use for it, but I don't care about that. It's I'll use it because I just need, you know, something to, to write in. Street Fighter's cool. I guess this, this is probably the coolest thing from the box. Um, of course, I don't recognize the character at all, and I really probably should, but I don't know. That's not a bad thing to add. But altogether, loot crates have just been whatever a lot of the time is for me. All right, so I did get one more thing. Um, this wasn't from Loot Crate, obviously. Um, it looks kind of damaged, and I actually want to kind of explain something to you guys. So they released Detective Pikachu on DVD and Blu-ray and all that. And of course, this is DVD, Blu-ray, and digital code. People have been buying these, getting the digital code so they can sell it or whatever else online, and then just selling this still sealed. So this part is actually still sealed, it's just this cardboard that isn't. And they actually come with a promo card with the movie. Me and Anna haven't seen the movie yet, and you can buy this for so much cheaper when you buy it off of like eBay, where people have already used the code. So yeah, I don't get the code with it, but I don't want the code. So, if you guys want to buy Detective Pikachu, you can actually get it still sealed for a lot cheaper online. Just for people that are just buying these in order to sell the codes and the DVDs. They make more money off of it that way, but you actually save money from buying these. And the main reason I got it was obviously because I wanted to see it, and I wanted that freaking promo card, man. Which is not going to be coming out of this sleeve. Oh, is there a second? There's a second card in there. You guys probably can't see that. There's a second card in here, and I really want to know what it is, but I also really don't want to open this. All right, screw it. We're going to open it, and I'm just going to sleeve this. I and mean, it's not, like, super special. It's just, yeah, you can only get it with this DVD, but I, whatever. It'll be fine. I can open it. Okay, but well, we're going to open it with a knife, because I don't want to damage the... Jesus. I have to know what the other thing is. Also, I like that his attack... Are you kidding me? It's an online code. Well, if you guys want an online code, holy god. It... I thought it was another actual card. Why would they put the online code in there and not, like, face it backwards? They put this... on it, on the back. Well, that's just great. Uh, maybe I'll, like, seal it back together, you know, with something else. You know, sleeve it with that. I don't know. But aside from that, it looks like it's the second disc, so I suppose that's neat. I don't really know what the use for it is. I thought the guy said it didn't come with a code. The code is still in here. I don't know how they would have gotten the code, because it, 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 the listing said that they didn't come with the codes. This one clearly has it in the box. I don't need it, so if this code hasn't been used, then here you go. You guys can use it. But... I don't know how else he would have gotten the code. Is there a way for him to, like, shine a light and see through this to get the codes from it? And yeah, the box came a little banged up. It's nothing bad. Um, I guess that's what I get for buying it off of, like, eBay. Um, but I still don't think it's the seller's fault. Our, our delivery people suck, and this was probably just thrown rather aggressively onto our doorstep like they do all of my other packages. So I can't really blame the seller for this. It was packaged decently, I suppose, so... Whatever, I have the movie in the card, so I don't care about the freaking box. Alright guys, that's gonna be it. If you enjoyed, let me know, um, because I might do more of these Loot Crate things in the future. They're probably not gonna be very long videos, but I buy them every month anyways, even- and I don't know why, because sometimes they really suck, but sometimes you get cool exclusive things they can only get from it, and then I would feel like I got- I- I was- I missed out by not paying for it. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, feel free to give the video a sub, all that kind of stuff, and I will see you again soon.